Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. My name is Sarah Pankost, and I'm the International Baccalaureate Diploma Coordinator at Dow High. And I join with Kelly Murphy, the IB Diploma Coordinator from Midland High, in welcoming you to this special reception for Midland Public's 10th group of International Baccalaureate Diploma candidates. Hey, yes. I extend a warm welcome to all guests, MPS faculty, parents, family members, and friends. A special welcome to our rising seniors from the class of 2019, and of course, our 2018 diploma candidates. Getting to this moment has taken time, talent, commitment, and faith from staff, parents, and most importantly, these seniors. We commend our diploma candidates for completing their journey through Midland Public's International Baccalaureate Program. To be an IB diploma candidate, a student must show a commitment to being well-rounded by taking courses in six subject areas. Students also complete the core of the program, and the core of the program is what makes it special. All IB Diploma candidates write an extended essay, which is a 3,000 to 4,000 word paper on a topic of their choice. Candidates must also take the applied philosophy course, Theory of Knowledge. The final element of the core is CAS, which stands for Creativity, Activity, and Service. CAS basically requires students to reflect on the benefits of service to others physical activity, and artistic enrichment. The 27 seniors gathered here tonight have all successfully completed these requirements and we're here to celebrate this achievement. To begin our evening, we're going to welcome the incoming class of 2019. In your reception program, you'll find the junior class members listed with their CAS projects. In just a moment, Midland High Principal Jeff Jaster We'll read each student's name, and the students will come forward and be presented with an IB lanyard from their CAS coordinator. At this time, I'd like to invite Midland High CAS coordinator, Kendall Root, and Dow High CAS coordinator, Emily Hockemeyer, along with Midland High principal, Jeff Jaster, forward to present lanyards to the junior class. Good evening. Um, before I start, I'll just ask everybody to hold applause until the end, so we've read all the names. And it's my pleasure to introduce uh, the 21 students who are part of the class of 2019 uh, diploma candidates for both high schools. So we'll start with um, Maya Albright. Yeah. <laughs> we can hold applause. Yeah, Maya Albright. Nicholas Alfano. Isabel Chaput. Carlene DeSmet. Adam L. Fawal. Michael Erickson. Stephen Gilman. Megan Kilmaster. Amelie Crave. Ava Cook. Allison Lapham. Emma McLaren.
Jacob Miller. Amelia Milvaganum. Shreya Nagarkar. Riley Pavlik. Sophie Penix. Catherine Perry. Gabriella Thompson, Gabrielle Wilkins, and Justin Witt. Now we can have a round of applause for that. All right, juniors, you can head back to your seats. Let's give them another round of applause while they head back. Thank you, Mr. Jaster, and excellent work so far, class of 2019. Next, we have two speakers, one from Midland High and one from Dow High, uh, two seniors who are going to speak about their IB experience and the IB diploma program. So first, we have Dow High senior, Caroline Toyakoff. So I used to dream big. I used to imagine some world-changing idea and then think, somebody should do that. I remember as a kid, I would always look at the people in our history books and in the media, and I would wonder how in the world they got the courage to do these grand and incredible things. I would envision a better world and hope somebody else would find a way to create it, because there is no me way that little me, with my pigtails and nose stuck in a book, would ever be able to do anything like that. But as cheesy as it is, Ivy taught me that I can. That those things I would think up, I could actually do them that maybe I would have to get my nose out of a book and actually talk to somebody to get it done, but that it was possible. IB taught me a foundation of skills that I will use for the rest of my life. That being open-minded doesn't just mean accepting of different worldviews, but it also means being open to the possibilities of life, of taking chances and working to make a difference. That being a risk taker doesn't just mean to yell IB risk taker as an excuse whenever you're about to do something stupid, even though I know we all do that. <laughs> To me, it means that sometimes jumping into something you're not quite sure if you can handle is the way to discover that you can't handle it. My cast project, as many tears as it brought, eventually led to ice cream victory runs. Because we took the risk of doing something we cared about in a way that we thought was important, even though we had no idea how in the world we would get it done. Ivy taught me that the we aspect is also so much more important than I ever thought it could be. That being a part of a group of students working towards a common goal, friendships will be created with those you never would have normally talked to, and you learn so much about the world. I've learned that it's not just enough to just be knowledgeable. The past years have shown me that being an inquirer, that caring about the universe and questioning it, thinking about it, is more important. TOK especially showed me that the deeper levels of understanding through the ways of knowing or walks and the areas of knowledge or AOKs and a multitude of different acronyms. Knowing that you're capable of noticing and understanding the voids of the world and making a difference, knowing that if you try, there's a very strong chance you will succeed, makes all the difference. NIB, from the long nights of studying, to the endless extended essay writing, to the teachers in the community, have given me an understanding of that, and for which I will, ever be, for which I will forever be grateful. I know now that it's not only okay to have those big dreams and visions of a better world, but that those dreams can actually become a reality. So to the class of 2018, congratulations, you did it. And to the class of 2019, good luck on this beautiful journey.
Thank you, Caroline. Next, we have Midland High senior, Aubrey Root. Good evening. My name is Aubrey Root, and I'm thrilled to have the opportunity to speak here tonight. I want to begin by congratulating my fellow class of 2018. We did it. After many sleepless nights, cry sessions, hours of essay writing and testing, and so much more, we are here today about to stand tall because we did it. And that is quite the accomplishment. The IB diploma is no easy task. And though cliche, I think it is best described as a roller coaster, full of ups and downs, times when you laugh, and times where the wind hits you so hard that you cry. Reflecting on this, however, I think that it just goes to show how incredible the program truly is. All the best roller coasters begin with a substantial amount of fear, but the assurance that in the end, everything will be okay, and you will get off grateful that you ever had the opportunity to get on. When I began considering the diploma program, I was attracted to the prestige associated with an extra diploma and the college credits it was advertised to win me. I liked the idea of being a part of the best and the brightest, graduating with a special honor that wouldn't be that much extra work because, hey, I was already taking the classes. Even still, before I got on the roller coaster, I was afraid. I was fearful of the work and the potentially sleepless nights. I was afraid of being pushed, knowing that if I continued in some of the classes, I wouldn't be receiving straight A's anymore. Nonetheless, I remember the excitement I felt as I signed on the dotted line, sitting in the library next to some of my best friends, buckling up for the ride of our life. Now getting off, I have the opportunity to reflect on the experience that I've had. Recalling all the Alden B. Dow home visits, the stimulating TOK discussions, and the satisfaction of pressing submit on the extended essay, and all the laughs I've had at IB bonding events, I smile at all the highs of this roller coaster. However, I can also look back on the lows, the failed tests, the number of times I had to edit my extended essay question, the hours of testing and the piles of homework. While not easy, these lows were a part of the program. And with the hindsight gifted to those of us who are now finished, I look back on the entirety of the program and stand in awe of all that I have learned and all that I have accomplished. First, I learned the importance of pushing yourself. The IB diploma has pushed me farther than I ever thought I could go, filling my head with bits of calculus and physics that I never thought I could understand. I remember receiving my first failed test and crying, believing that it was the end of all I knew. It wasn't. Through all this, I have grown into an individual who embraces difficult situations, confident that I can come out on top. I'm not afraid of jumping into difficult conversations or classes, and I can say with confidence that I am so much more of a risk taker than I ever was when I began. The confidence broadens my horizon and expands my opportunities, and I'm so very grateful. I also reflect on the group of people who I consider an incredible collection of friends. These students, my fellow IB candidates, have stood by each other through thick and through thin, encouraging each other to never give up, reminding each other when assignments are due, and providing a safe place to rant. We've had so much fun together, and it hasn't ended yet. I'm so grateful for the group of friends I otherwise would never have developed. I look forward to tonight's bonfire, the camping trip we're taking next week, and so many other times that we'll be together, all because of the IB Diploma Program. Finally, I reflect on the program because it has opened my eyes and given me such a future. While I am receiving scholarships and college credit as a result of IB, it isn't that that I am most grateful for in regards to my future. I'm thankful for the global focus and the knowledge that I have gained in the circles of the world. It is because of this that I plan to pursue a job in the United Nations. I'm thankful for the opportunities to write massive essays, though they were difficult, that a normal high schooler would never have had the opportunity to write and because now I'm confident in my abilities when college comes. Ultimately, I'm grateful for the person I have become as a result of it all, all the TOK discussions, extended essays, failed assignments, and group discussions. I can say with honesty that I am more reflective than I ever was before. I'm more open-minded, compassionate, knowledgeable, inquiring, and so much more. All in all, it's been a good ride. I'm so grateful for the joys that have come with the roller coaster of IB. And on behalf of all the IB Diploma candidates, it's been a long ride and it's time for us to get off. But it was an experience that we'll never forget. Thank you.
Thanks, Aubrey. MPS's International Baccalaureate Program knows no better friend than our next speaker, Mr. Craig McDonald. Craig attended Midland Public Schools and graduated from Dow High. He serves various roles on foundations in our community and is the director of the Alden B. Dow Home and Studio. The Home and Studio is a key partner in our diploma program. Students are treated to weekly sessions taught on location at the Home and Studio by the staff there in collaboration with their TOK teachers. Understandably, this off-campus opportunity is a highlight of the program for most students. We're pleased and honored to have Craig here as our graduation speaker. We all know the partnership would not be possible without his vision and support. Craig? Great. First of all, Carolyn and Aubrey, outstanding, phenomenal. It is humbling to be here to speak with you, the 2018 IB Diploma graduating class, and to be among the incredible mentors and teachers and family members that you have experienced and encountered through your IB time. Also, and specifically to Ms. Pankos and Mrs. King, it's such an honor to collaborate with such incredible teachers and people who are students of the world who admit they still have much to learn and are such great examples for us as we went on this journey together. It seems most of the time that my colleagues and I, Mr. Woods, who's sitting back here, have spent with you, the class, at the home and studio, has been spent asking you questions and giving you information for you to assess. We've asked you to assume many different roles, roles such as architect and builders, designers, writers, philosophers, planners, and no matter what role we asked of you, you quite naturally also assumed the role of risk takers, inquisitors, communicators, and all those traits and roles of the IB profile, learner profile. We purposely tried not to talk at you, but to ask you questions and engage you in activities that led you to active thought and reflection which then led you to a better understanding. Sometimes an understanding of a specific topic, a concept, an idea, maybe a quote, or the world around us. But if we boil it down even further, it really was about understanding yourselves. Yourselves as creative individuals to help you identify what's important to you, what you believe to be true and honest and just, and hopefully to assist you in finding your own definition of self. It's not easy work, as you all know, from being asked to write a life philosophy or explain where your ethical base comes from. It's not easy because it's something that constantly changes as the roles we are asked to assume in life are broadened and changed constantly. We learn that no matter what role we play, we impact those around us and vice versa. We are interconnected. The stated IB goal is to develop inquiring, knowledgeable, and caring young people who help to create a better and more peaceful world through the intercultural understanding and perspective. The program encourages students from across the world to become active, compassionate, lifelong learners. As I read the topics and the titles of your extended essays, I was instantly assured that you have far exceeded these IB goals. I was amazed at the breadth of your topics, but I was more amazed at the knowledge you desire to learn and to better understand. It's just amazing. Better understand so that you can be a part of the better treatment of humans, improving the way we live and impacting our quality of life. Again, incredible. I find myself thinking about your CAS projects and how the concept of CAS is really a great metaphor for life and the journey we take on it. First, you discover your own definition of creativity. What's that about us that makes us unique, that individual definition, that gift that we have, unlike anyone else? Then the learning that you, and acquiring knowledge in the area of passion so that you can take that knowledge and expertise into service and change and improve yourself and improve the world. 
Just look at the tools you've gained through IB that have changed already how you think, how you see, and how you interpret almost every aspect of life around you. Incredible at this really young age. I also want to ensure you, or assure you, excuse me, you will, that you've also assumed the role of being teachers. I cannot tell you how much your candid, honest, and passionate participation in class time has taught us. You make us think and see from a new perspective and different perspective. You have changed how we teach at the Holman Studio, how we share information um, with all of our guests. When we're developing a program, and it isn't the best we know it can be, we oftentimes say, let's TOK it. Let's challenge it, let's break it down, understand it, and rebuild it to make sure it's the absolute best it can be, what you've been doing on this IB journey. As Alden Dow said, I sincerely believe we were put here on this earth at this time to be of benefit to each other. Thank you for helping us to better understand ourselves in the world in which we live. Thanks to all of you for being our partners in learning and in growing. Congratulations. Thank you, Mr. McDonald. All right, next we're moving on to what you've all been waiting for the best part of the evening, what you've worked two long years for, the stoles. <laughs> Seniors, when your name is called, please make your way up to your coordinator to receive your stole, and then make your way up the stairs as you saw the juniors do. Please welcome Dow High Principal Steve Poole to the stage to recognize the class of 2018 diploma candidates. Thank you very much, Caroline and Aubrey. Great job. Those, those are very good speeches, and I'm sure that Michigan State and Alma are very much looking forward to, to having you as students. And Mr. McDonald, it's always good to hear you speak. It's not the first time I've heard you speak, and it's always uplifting. So thank you very much for being here. Your 2018 27, two th excuse me, 27 2018 diploma candidates, uh, William Adams. Oh, we're gonna do that for you. <laughs> Madeline Dauenhauer. <laughs> Duncan Donahue. <laughs> Sammy L. Nashev. Lucas Foote. I jumped a couple. Yoop Furquette. Serena Fleming Dittenberg. Jessica Heron. Caitlin Hutchinson. <laughs> Hannah Jackson. <laughs> Mary Johnson. <laughs> Riley Johnson. Nicholas Konovalenko. <laughs> Kevin Kreif. <laughs> Natalie McGuire. Noah Nichols. <laughs> A. 
Adrian Ora. <laughs> Eric Parsons. <laughs> Gopal Parthasarathy. <laughs> Sion Pizzi. Aubrey Root. Anna Samidi. Christy Shirdava. Allison Stevens. <laughs> Caroline Toyakoff. <laughs> Kendallin Tao. Abraham Young. Abraham Young. Let's give them another round of applause. Wow. You are an extraordinary group of young people young thinkers and learners. You should be very proud of yourselves for the journey that you just completed. Not only of the hard work that you have put into reaching this point academically, but for the measurable growth that you have made in becoming inquiring, knowledgeable, and caring young people who will change the world to be create a better and more peaceful world through intercultural respect and understanding. Thank you to the families and friends and teachers of these scholars who made this journey possible and helped them along the way. Thank you all for joining us tonight and recognizing our IB Diploma candidates of 2018 and the rising seniors of 2019. We welcome you to take pictures, but also to head downstairs for some cookies and punch and mingling. So thank you very much, and congratulations, class of 2018.